Hi and welcome to another Excel VBA screencast tutorial on brettweiss.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a summary report from a raw data set. In the last video I introduced this raw data set of page views per day for each month, uh, January, February, March, April, has each day's page views for a specific website and we are charged with the task of summarizing this data. Our boss wants a summary report based on month and wants the percentage of beat each month um, relative to the total. Also wants a chart so that you can have a quick summary of the data. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you'd like to view the code that we're going to be using in this lesson to create the summary of a report, click the link in the description box. It'll take you to brightways.com. The code script will be right there as, as well as this workbook that you can download and run the macro yourself. So first I'm just going to run the macro and see what we're trying to create out of this. So if I press Control shift t that'll run the macro. This is the page view summary report that we want to create in the end. It has our page views by month, our percentage of yearly total, and a real simple chart summarizing the data. You'll notice we've also kept all of our initial worksheets, but we've changed them. We've changed the names to the month that they represent, so we can go to January. We've also put a percent of month monthly total, so each day's percentage of the monthly total. We put that row in there and we can go to any month that we want and check out the data individually or we can look at the summary report. In this workbook I also have a macro that erases everything I've just did in this macro and that's Control shift y So if we press Control shift y we go right back to our, our original data set. Our sheets are renamed as Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3 and so on. And this is our original data set which we'll start from. So I'm just going to take you through the VBA code that creates this summary report. Uh, stop at a couple key points along the way and go into a little more detail about what we're doing to create the summary report. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of the way and we got the code in behind here and we're going to take a look at both screens and view the code as we're going and you can see exactly what the macro is doing. So we've got a bunch of variable, variables declared. One variable to note is the dim month array variable as string. That's going to be an array that, we'll f that, we, that we will fill with each abbreviated month and then print out at the end on our summary worksheet. So let's just start running the macro. I'm going to move this a little bit over. First note of interest is our for each next loop. We're going to loop, loop through each worksheet, um, do a couple of operations. We're going to change the worksheet name to the abbreviated month. We're going to add a percentage total row and we're going to calculate the total views of the year. So we're just going to run through here. Nothing too special happening. Um, uh, we're going to embed this next for each next loop to create our percent of monthly total. So as you can see, as we run this loop, it's dividing each day's page view by the monthly total, giving us a percentage and formatting it in a percentage format. So that will do that for all of January. When we're done, We'll, we'll go to February and we'll do the same thing for each month of the year. So for each worksheet in our workbook, we're going to perform the same operation. That's our for each next loop. So what I'm going to do is, since you don't want to see me do that 11 more times, I'm going to run it to the next point of interest, which is filling our month array. So to fill a variable array, we use the redim statement. And in this case, we want one item in the, in the array for each, each worksheet in the workbook. And to just show you what this is, good, what this is doing, I have a, a debug.print month, month array command. And that's going to print each item I'm filling the array with to the immediate pane so you can see what's actually happening. So as we go, we can see the debug.print command prints January, February, all the months of the year into the array and this is going to be used in our summary page. So I hope you can see that there's what's being printed to the immediate pane all the way down to this to December. We'll exit the loop and those values are what our array is filled with. So now we're going to add a summary worksheet. We're going to do a little bit of formatting here. We're going to add a title. We're going to add our headers, page views, set the column width and now we're going to have another for each next loop that's going to print the values in our our array and the corresponding total page views for those months to the summary worksheet and there's probably a bunch of different ways you can do it 
Um, since our macro is not that long, I didn't mind looping through the data again. If we were using a data set that was rather large and one that looping through each data point would take forever, we would try to figure out a better way to do this. But the simplest way to do it is just to create a loop. And since the macro takes less than a second to run, it's not a big deal to have another loop in there. So what this is going to do is it's going to print the month array value, which is Jan, and then the corresponding total page views for that month into the page view column. And then it's going to offset one cell and we're going to repeat the process all the way down. Then we're going to insert a totals row and now the hard part of our macro is done. The rest is just formatting. We're going to create a percentage of yearly total column and then we're going to insert our chart at the end. And that is how our summary report will look when it's all done. So this is just one way we can create a quick summary report. Once you get used to writing VBA code, you can write these kinds of reports in an hour, hour and a half. And if you're going to have to use this same data set with different data or keep updating the data set month after month, it's handy to have a macro. You can just push the button. The data will summarize itself. And you, all you have to do, click a button, hand in the report. Again, if you want to view the code for this macro and download the workbook and you're watching this video on YouTube, click in the info box. There's a link there that will send you to the page of this screencast on brettweiss.com. You can take a look at the code, download the workbook, and test it out for yourself. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial on brettweiss.com. Have a great day.